to lead within with Chico Saiba. Our focus today is self-regulation strategy models. Self-regulation strategy models. A model is something that you can follow or imitate to reach a certain goal. So what I intend to do is to show you regulation strategies that you can also deploy. Recall that self-regulation is a life skill. And there are two models I want to show to you today. The first model is called SOAR. SOAR. S-O-A-R. Gambir and Carbonara, in their book, Getting It Right When It Matters Most, introduced the concept of SOAR. Building on the concept of self-leadership, they felt that self-regulation helps you to soar. And there are four phases in soar. S-O-A-R. Each one of these stands for a word. S stands for self. Self. Self is the understanding about who you are. And how your unique self developed over time based on a special cocktail of your character, temperament, physical behaviors, intelligence, habits, beliefs, strengths, and even weaknesses. O stands for outlook. Outlook is that self-awareness of how you view your world. How your emotions impact your worldview. Remember. We do not see things as they are. We see things as we are. Our eyes are usually the windows with which we see the world and interpret events. A stands for action in SOA. Action is the conversation that enables you to successfully make improvement when it matters most at a point of difficulty or relational difficulty. R, reflection. Reflection is the process of critically evaluating your behaviors, your perspectives, your habits, and even communication based on previous actions so that you can gain insight to adapt to future and even current challenges. The model of SOA is very important in helping you to build a self-regulation skill. Remember, self-regulation is the ability to respond instead of react. Another model, which is a strategy, is STOP, S-T-O-P-P. -P. Carol Vian introduced the model called STOP. Viktor Frankl stated, and I quote, between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space lies our freedom, our freedom to choose our response, because in our response lie our growth and even our freedom. If you are struggling to get your emotion under check, this technique, stop, is an amazing strategy. To follow. S stands for stop. And stop means stop. Stop! Don't do anything. T means take a breath. Each time you breathe, you break an emotional flow. O means observe. Observe your thoughts. Observe your moods. Observe your feelings. P means pull back. Pull back, gain a different perspective. What is the bigger picture about this situation? And the last P means practice. Practice what works before proceeding. Practice what works before proceeding. As a pastor, I went with one of my parishioners to the police station. He had had a bust up with one of his neighbors. And so, in his anger and vexation, 
he left the first floor of the apartment where he lived to the second floor where the neighbor who offended him lived. And in the ensuing quarrels, certain ugly things took place. So those neighbors reported him to the police, and they got him arrested. In the course of settling the issue, my eyes became opened about something in emotional regulation. The policeman said, having listened to them, that my parishioner was wrong and liable of offense. And he said, immediately you left your floor to another floor, you were already trespassing. Because your floor is considered as your country. And the other floor is considered as the other person's country. So you left your property to another man's property. That was trespass. And I was like, seriously? That if what took place was at his own floor, he wouldn't have been in trouble. Having been trained in alternative dispute resolution, we settled the matter amicably. But that helped me now to take self-regulation very seriously. So, SOA, or STOP, which of these strategies will work best for you? Do you want to SOA or you feel like stopping? Whichever one you choose, just go ahead and deploy it. It will work for you. All you need to do is self-regulate. 